With this video on the master data information add-on, I'm going to show you about the mark item function, which is a function to select items if you want to run a report or selection for items. I'll show you how it works in NAV. The point of this functionality is to be able to filter on items even though it's a filter in the underlying master data information table. So let's take an example. If I'm viewing my item list report, item list, sorry, inventory list, like this, I find my inventory list and when I run this report, it will show, of course, all items on my inventory. So this is a standard report showing everything. Now I'd like to filter and show a list only on items that has an underlying information of being white, except for item number 1170, and I also want the items with a reorder point of 100 going into this list. So I have a very complex criteria that might be difficult for me to add as a filter, and especially because the information white is lying in the underlying master data information table. So with the information matrix in here, I have a function to mark items on those lists, on this list. So first of all, I will filter on the color white because I need all my white items to go in there. So I select mark and I add mark to the list, meaning I'm stamping my user ID on those items on the item table like this. But I didn't want item number 1170 to go into this filter. So I'll just filter on this specific one and select mark and then remove from list. So I'm taking this one out of the list again. And now I'd like to filter on my reorder point being 100 because I like all the items with reorder point 100 to go into this filter as well. And I select mark and I add it to the list. So in this way, I can continue working with which item to mark or not to mark in my list. So when I run my inventory list now, in here, I can find the field called marked by user, which contained my user ID and it's a filter string meaning I need to place a star in front of it, a filter, and my user ID, because the same field is used for other users. So there might be 10 users working with this functionality at the same time, and it stamps the information down in this field. So a star in the front and a star in the end. And when I run the report now, it should filter on those items that I have selected and deselected. So uh, this is the remaining item from my filter. In this way, I can filter on I make all kinds of filters and use them in all kinds of report, reports, both on items, customers, and vendors.